Hello, welcome to our semiconductor education program. I'm Vincent Chan. In this video, I'm gonna teach you something uh, a little bit challenging. It's called input common mode range. Simplify by I short for I C M R. I remember when I was a college student, I didn't I didn't even know there's such an I C M R existed. Not to mention understanding. So I hope through my lecture you can fully grasp the concept of so-called input common mode range. BJT differential pair part three input common mode range I C M R. Let's start with the common mode operation. Assuming the two inputs are connected together, tied together and connected to a common mode input voltage VCM. A differential pair is now biased by a constant current source, a current mirror. Q2, a Q4, and a Q3, right? Let's start with the reference current on the left. 10, voltage drop, deduct 0 0.7 across. 9.3 9 9 kilo ohm 1 milliamp reproduce reproduce and 50 50 50 50 0 0.5 0 0.5 drop 5 volt 5 volt and then 5 volt 10 minus 5 Follow me, okay? So phi, phi. VCM deduct 0 0.7 because the two transistors are on. So VCM minus 0 0.7. Let's go back to the title. Input common mode range. I, what does that mean? Input common mode range, it means you think about this. There's a range. Means there is the upper limit, lower limit for input common mode voltage. Okay? There's a range. But why there is a limitation? There's a range. Why there's a range? Call for ICM, input common mode. Let me explain this. Let me slow down, all right? Just go with me. If you need it, maybe you need to pause and just take note. Think about this, when the VCM increases, VCM increases, then you goes up, the emitter voltage will goes up. And then the red point goes up, because the blue one is fixed at 5 volt, means the VC1 will go down. So when VC1 goes down, just picture this in, on your mind, or you just put on, just regularly, uh, just, just scribble on, on your note like this, right? IC versus VC. So when VC goes down, then what? Then what? Then the Q1 is going to get, get a little bit ner <laughs> nervous, right? Right? A little bit scared. Because to be qualified as an amplifier, the Q1 has to be stay in the full active region. But you kind of push. Who push? VCM. External voltage kind of push me toward the region that's undesired, disqualified. So Q1, therefore Q1 is going to get nervous, right? But how about when VCOM goes down? Q1 is no problem. Sit back, relax, and then the red point voltage goes down. As a result, the VC3 goes down. Now turn to <laughs> his brother, Q3, the one on the bottom. You don't see? When you sit back, you see the bottom transistor is going to get nervous intimidated because he is going to be disqualified all right 
You got it? I've been telling you the upper limit is limit by this Q1, the driver. The lower limit is limited by this, his brother, the current mirror. So maximum input voltage is limited by the upper limit. Let me say this way. It's limited by the upper transistor. The lower limit is going to limit by the lower transistor. Okay? Simple? Easy? Now, I'm just, I'm not, next, in the next, I'm going to teach you how to solve this. Okay? What is the upper limit? This is the upper limit. Then, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. The first bone deduct 0 0.2. The second bone rise 0 0.7. Boom, boom. 5.5. The answer is 5.5. It's like magic, right? <laughs> okay. Low limit. Lower, lower limit is like this. Boom, boom. <laughs> the first, boom, 0 0.2. The second, 0 0.7. So negative 10, up 0 0.2, up 0 0.7. So negative 9.1. Did you get it? I think you get it, right? But you, do you understand? Do you understand? You probably know how to solve this. Let me explain in detail. 5.5. If the 5.5 is the upper limit, then what? Means you cannot go on over to 5.6 because it's the ceiling. 5.5 is the ceiling. It's the ceiling. So if you go 5.6, then what? Then what? Then 4.9, 0 0.1. 4.9, the common emitter is going to be 4.9. Here, 0 0.1 here means oh, disqualified because falling into saturation region. Disqualify as an amplifier. Got it? How about the negative limit, the lower limit, 9.1. Negative 9.1. If 9.1 is your lower limit, you cannot go lower, 9.1. How about I just want to go lower, 9.2. Then what? 9.9. .9. Then the common emitter is going to be 9.9, .9, 0 0.1. Again, means your brother, the current mirror, <laughs> falling into the saturation region. Disqualify, Q3 disqualify as a current mirror. So the concept, for the driver to be qualified as an amplifier and the current mirror to be qualified as a current mirror, there's a range, all right, called input common mode range. To further convince you, I strongly encourage you to take this opportunity to do some simulation work. Then you will see the magic really happen on your screen. The result. So if you simulate this circuit, then you scan the VCM. You will see this. You will see this. And then if you pinpoint the probe, the data, you will see this. So that's not magic. So I'm trying to reconcile the hand analysis with spy simulation result. All right? So see the range, the first one, the lower limit. The lower limit is negative 0.1, negative negative 0.1. Pro correspond to the, right? It really is the negative 9.1177. So 9.1 is a very beautiful approximation. So when the current all of a sudden drop means the Q3, the current source transistor falling into saturation. So 
By the same token, on the other side, 5.5. You see the 5.5? 5.5, 5.5 to 1 fourth. So when you go beyond the 5.5, the current draft reflect the differential pair, the driver falling into saturation. So only within this range, the three brothers, the three transistor, will qualify as an amplifier and the current mirror. All stay in where they are supposed to stay, the four active region. So there is a range called input common mode range. I sincerely hope that you really learn something and not like me as a college student have no idea what this is about. This is the end of the lecture video. Thanks for watching.